Good morning. This is Greg, pastor at Woodland Church. And I'm um, starting off this morning wanting to show you something. Well, I'm kind of excited. I have a lot of reasons to be excited. But first, about this time, Sunday, there's going to be a lot of people starting to come up that hill that you're looking at right now. And they're going to walk up this way past these roses, and they're going to head into these doors right here. And as I do, there's a just one verse scripture I want to share with you. That says in Psalm chapter 122, verse 1, it says, When they said, let's go to the house of God, my heart leapt for joy. And um, going to the house of the Lord is a good thing. And as we enter, I don't know, it just brings me, it really does bring me joy. And it's an exciting place to be. It's a place that I get to connect with God. But there's something else that's pretty cool that's happened recently, too, that I want to share with you. And that is that in the past three months, we have had more new families begin tending, attending Woodland than I believe they have in the 11 years that I've been here. And that's an exciting thing. Just last Sunday, we had three new families that came for the first time. And I don't think it's coincidence. I don't believe in a lot of coincidences, but something happened to me a couple of weeks ago that I think God allowed me to understand the challenge of a new person or new families coming into a church. You see, a friend of mine and I had been talking about going to this new restaurant that we pass by on a regular basis. And we kept talking about it. We've been talking about it for uh, maybe six months and we finally decided, I, I asked him, I, I said, you want to go today? And we decided we were going to go, and we did. And, and it turned out to be a great experience. But you know, as we got there, driving in, there weren't lines on the parking lot. I was confused about where I was supposed to park, how I was supposed to park. Was There weren't a ton of other cars there, but the ones that were weren't, didn't seem to be in any particular order. Was I going to do something that was going to block somebody off, keep somebody from getting out, keep the um, other cars from being able to park the way they usually do? But I finally found a place that I thought I was comfortable parking after moving around a couple of times. And then I go in, and the place that you go into, it's not just a restaurant, but it was like a convenience store and restaurant together. So we go in, and I'm not sure where to go. There's tables, and there's a bar that people can set at like a counter, and there's somebody back there taking orders, but there's a register over here like where people check out. There was nothing that said order here. There was nothing that talked about being seated, not being seated. So we go up and we're just kind of wandering and we go up and we get about halfway to the counter and the lady says, welcome. What would you like to order? Are you ready to order? And we look up and we see the sign that's there and said, well, we'll take a minute. So we find our way and just kind of lean on a table there and figure out what we want to eat and she looks at us. We make eye contact and we finally tell her what we want to eat and we sit down. Turns out we're at a picnic table, and it's different. You go into a restaurant, you're usually used to having like a table to yourself. It was a pretty large picnic table. We sat down. Well, not long after that, this other guy comes up and says, well, can I have a seat with you? We said, sure, absolutely. It was his first time there, too, we came to find out. Things were different. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what was going on. It was kind of strange, and it took us a little while to get to where we could feel comfortable. Well, after we got there, we got our food. Food was delicious, by the way. And there happened to be um, the friend that was with me, another friend came up, introduced themselves because they happened to know each other, figured out where they were from, had a great conversation. Um, and then in the midst of our conversation, some other people overheard and they, they got to know our names. They, they welcomed us. By the time we left, we felt like we were regulars there. And it was a really neat experience. And we enjoyed it. And we know we're going to go back. But what I learned from that is... Coming into a church, if you have not been in that church, or you even, maybe you haven't been there in a long time, it hit me. And I guess I knew it, but it hit me through that experience how challenging it can be, how you're not sure exactly what to do. It can be a little bit uncomfortable. You're not knowing what to expect. Even though you know you're going to be welcome, you know it's an appropriate place for you to be. I just want you to know that I've come to understand that. Um, 
in the past couple of weeks, and I am so grateful for the numerous families who have come in and, and are new to Woodland and have taken that chance with us and have begun to get to know us. And if there's anyone out there that's thinking about coming, maybe you've been thinking about six months or even longer of trying to get back into church or get back to church, and um, Woodland is a place you've been thinking about, come this Sunday. Know that I will be here. I will be here in this place, and I will know that if it's your first time coming in, I won't draw attention to it. We won't have some big, long conversation. We've already done that here. But I will appreciate the fact you've taken the effort to come in, and I've known what it's like from a little bit different perspective. But know that this is a place God wants to bless you, and I believe that we can all, once we really open up and allow ourselves to, we can say that as people invite us to come to the house of the Lord, we do so filled with joy. Have a wonderful day, and I do hope to see you Sunday.